consider the wealth of the person that when they leave this world they take nothing with them. Their wealth can't buy any door or any access, their relatives can't do anything, their property can't do anything. Only the relationship and the faith that you established upon this earth towards the hereafter means the strongest relationship and the strongest love for anything in creation has to be the love of Sayyidina Muhammad that the one to accompany you into the grave and into the abodes of difficulty through the holy hadith of Sayyidina Muhammad you be with whom you love. That in the depth of that hadith in all of its knowledges and realities and in one of its realities is that who will be your companion in the grave? Not the wealth that you brought, not the family that you have, not the possessions, the degrees, not the colleagues and the friends, none of them can help you when that day comes and you have to enter into that box, into the dirt and they throw the dirt upon you. And all that difficulty in the process of entering to that dirt that who can intercede for you? Who can be the companion through your difficulties and your trial and your tribulation? That Allah gives to us that gift, I would not have sent, I would not have sent. It starts by a negation that Allah says, I would not have sent this reality but it's a mercy to mankind that the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad is an immense rahmah, an immense mercy. And only Allah come into our life and the fortunate gift that they have given that when you attend funerals and you attend uh, moments of difficulty in people's lives you understand what Allah has given as a gift to the left of you, to the right of you, they don't have that gift. They weren't given that gift, they don't understand the importance of Sayyidina Muhammad And if Allah gives to you that gift to understand it, He's given you an immense relief, immense relief. Means that neither fear nor grieve for the station of awliyaullah, those whom they are Allah loves them and the secret of why Allah loves them because they love Sayyidina Muhammad We never met one of them that didn't have that immense love. Allah doesn't love them because He loves them. Allah's love for them is because they have an immense love for Sayyidina Muhammad And as a result their character is sweet, their akhlaq and their, the goodness of their character and that Prophet perfumes and fragrances them with what Allah is pleased with. Because you be with whom you love. When you love the one whom Allah loves, He dresses you, He blesses you, He teaches you the good and pushes in your heart abstain from the bad and beautifies you by just that perfection and that reality. As a result they have a sakina and a tranquility within the heart. They see the sadness of people and the difficulty of death and there's no relief for that one. Nothing, nothing can help them except this love. <coughs> this love if you don't feel it when you're alive you won't even understand it when you're dead unless, unless Allah gives you to the hand of awliyaullah who will come into the grave and sit with you, their soul. But if we didn't reach that level then what Allah want from us is then accompany them and learn. When you learn and take that teaching with your heart and sincerity and that, I want that love, I want that ishq and that every time I'm reciting these nasheeds I'm sitting at the grave in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Say, Ya Rasulul Kareem, Habibul Azeem, in my time of need and difficult, don't leave me to myself, don't leave me to be in difficulty, 
I spent my days and nights to make you happy. With that tranquility in the heart and sincerity, they feel that love, they feel that presence and the immensity of that gift. Then we understand the one whom is faced with that difficulty, who's going to be with them when they're in their dying state of life? You enter into a dying state and sickness and difficulty coming. It's all your training, what you trained all your life for. You can scream, Allah, as much as you want, nothing going to happen. Scream out as much as you want, Allah, because Allah is going to ask, How come I don't hear you screaming out about Sayyidina Muhammad? That will be its own test for the servant to understand. Those whom were trained and understood. Say, Ya Rabbi, there's no way to your door except through the love of Sayyidina Muhammad that all my life and my living days were in that love. Imagine in your last breath when you're sick on a bed and in difficulty, all you can think of is the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Say, Ya Rasul Kareem, Ujuhalana wa Ishfalana, Ishfalana, take away a difficulty. And the sweetness of that presence, the fragrance of that presence and the intercession because once you call upon Sayyidina Muhammad what Allah says, I'm with Nabi'een. But when you don't have the adab to call upon the way Allah wants you to call, Allah say, why are you calling upon me alone? Didn't you learn in your living life you have to be with Nabi'een, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin? Be with them and they should be around you because you can see at the grave and the station of death that who that person was. Are they surrounded by Salihin? Remember it's like a Kaaba. You can tell the state of death when you see the person, do they have the presence of Nabiyeen? Because if they were ashiqeen they're continuously calling upon Prophet through their difficulty. That ease this pain of death, this tribulation, bring sakina and peace into the hearts of those whom are around me. Because the suffering of those around you causing a suffering for the one who's dying. That when they're ashiqeen they're in continuous love of Sayyidina Muhammad Nabiin. If they were guided then all their shaykhs are connected to Siddiqeen. Their connection is with Imam Ali salam, Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq salam, because they're all Ahl al-Turuq, Ahl al-Haqqaiq. So it means then those Siddiqeens are around that person because of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad they come to support and to help. All the shuhada of that one in their life will be around them in their grave. Also making it to be easy the difficulty and the pains of death. And Salihin means those whom they kept and ate and drank and prayed with, they should be from amongst the righteous people and their death then surrounded by righteous people. But now you see people just dunya and then more dunya people and more dunya people and they don't care how they're going to treat the body, they're not connected to any Nabiin. They have no idea who are Salihin or Siddiqeen or Shuhada and that is a great calamity. And the great gift of faith and the great gift of love and ishq that Allah gives of guidance, it won't be understood until you die. It won't be understood fully until you're about to die. And you can die alone somewhere in, in the woods it doesn't matter for Allah you still be with Nabiin. All the ruhani will be with there if you're ashiqeen. Nabiin will be there, Siddiqeen will be there, Shuhada will be there, and all Salihin from unseen will be surrounding that servant. That's the immensity of this love and the great gift of this Divinely love. But people are heedless with the attraction to dunya and they don't hold a value for it. So alhamdulillah if we find ourselves listening to these types of associations, participating in these types of associations, it's an immense gift, an eternal gift to have that love and to depart this world 
with that love and with that ishq we pray that Allah grant us that love. Surround us with the love of Allah surround us with the love of Nabiyeen, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Saliheen whom Allah says, that's the best of company. If your company is like that, you're like a Kaaba and Allah is with you. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us and that to continue to guide us towards this immense love and this immense ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad and that love actually is the reflection of the love to Allah because it's the perfection in the mirror. The one whom we love is an immense reality and reflection. When we perfect our love with that reality, Allah's Divinely love, Yuhibakumullah, will begin to dress us with a Divine love in which all of Allah's created creation will move towards that servant. InshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa, love is Surat al-Fatiha.